Welcome to Junkyard Haunts, where we turn trash into haunts. Today we're going to be making a painting that comes alive. Ah, so scary, right? Uh, but because I am not capable of painting a massive, amazing painting, we're going to print a picture off the internet. I actually found this picture on Wikipedia, I believe, which means it should be in the public domain, because Wikipedia only posts things on the public domain. So this picture is free to use, if you would like to do copy it. Uh, to try to make this picture look more alive, uh, basically we're going to be doing a whole bunch of things to it to make sure it looks like it's coming out of the frame. Uh, to do this, uh, there is a, a cool step of making follow me eyes, uh, where wherever you walk it actually looks like the eyes are following you around. Uh, this, because my eyes are so small, it doesn't look super great, but it does work a tiny bit. But if you decide to make your own picture, follow the same steps and ideas, and you'll be able to make follow me eyes better. Uh, basically, you cut out the eyes of the picture, and then make a thicker, I guess, base. And so that the eyes can be placed much further away than the rest of the pictures. And then when you do that, when you walk around, the eyes actually look like they're following you. Uh, it's a pretty simple technique. Um, but I'm actually using uh, paper mache's for my, my hole where the eyes go, just because I don't want any... Um, like when you cut cardboard in half, you see the insides of it, and I don't want to see that. So paper mache is a good way to mask and hide that type of stuff. Uh, to, uh, now, some easy ways to make sure the picture actually looks like it's coming out of the frame, in my opinion, is hair. Hair is something that really long and raggedy hair can actually make things look creepier, but it also makes it one of the easiest ways to make it look like it's coming out of the frame here. And so, since I don't have black hair, I am using my red hair that I have used on other props. I can put a link there for that and I'm just spray painting it black. Obviously an easier way would be to, to get black hair. But I just glue that on, uh, put a whole bunch of glue. The, the glue dries clear so it's no big deal to put a ton on and it will make sure it stays better. And after it's on you just trim it up and then just repaint the touches because it obviously you'll still see some of the red spray paint won't show through the hair very well so that's the only reason I'm repainting the hair. And then to make another part that actually makes it look like it's coming out of the frame, we're just going to go ahead and, and make the knife part of it. And we're going to use more cardboard and just paper mache it together to make it look more like one piece. That way we, later on we can actually angle it out to make it sh look like it's he's coming out with a knife to kill people. Boo! But then we're going to go ahead and build a frame for this. Now I wanted to make the picture first so that we can measure the frame to the picture since I wasn't using any specific lineage, 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 that's a word, right? Uh, and I can just measure it based off the actual picture as opposed to having to measure a whole bunch of things at first. Uh, and then just make a whole bunch of angle cuts. Now my frame is going to be pretty thick but I'm gonna double layer it and actually basically kind of have two frames together, a thinner one and the thicker one. And because I didn't have enough wood uh, to fit all of this, I actually, that angled little part on top, I just cut a little bit out and tried to make it look more like it was done on purpose. Uh, that way it can age the, the frame a little bit, make it look a more creepy, but also just because I ran out of wood. So I'm actually using a tool here that I've never used before, um, and it's it's basically so you can put little wood dowels in, so that they're, they're like footballs. I'm not sure what they're actually called. Now, this is a very helpful how-to tutorial, but I'm using wood glue just to glue it together. But in the end, um, I was talking to my brother about this, and he basically said that since the frame is so small, really all you needed to use is the wood glue to glue it together. And to make the little frame part on top, I'm just using a, a like nail gun and just hammering in the extra nails that stick out. 
Uh, this is obviously not the professional frame tutorial, so <laughs> uh, we're just doing this to to make it look creepy. And as long as you don't get stabbed while hanging up this frame, that's all that really matters. Now I'm just trying to round the edges, but because I pre-built it before I rounded the edges, uh, it didn't work very well. So I actually just take a sandpaper and basically f f round the edges with sandpaper because the, the tool didn't work that well. But I'm also sanding the where they connect just so that it, uh, it looks more like one piece. It's more smooth right there. I'm going to be making videos every Monday, so go ahead and subscribe to follow along. And to finish off my crack in the frame, I just took a saw and chisel and made a m bigger crack is all so that it looked more like it was actually damaged on accident or over the years and ages instead of just on purpose. Now I'm actually going to stain this frame with real stain. I made a frame in the past, I can put a link up for that. Uh, and I just made my own stain for it to make it look aged. But this time I just used real stain. Um, and how you apply stain is you paint it on and then take a paper towel and rub it off. Uh, the longer you wait to rub it off, the darker it will be. And then I put a varnish on after it is the stain is completely dried. Uh, to do this, I just use a rag and dip it in the varnish and rub it down. Uh, make sure you're covering all parts. And after it dries, I take steel wool and sand it down. And then uh, once again, apply more varnish. I do about three coats of this, um, but you, two is probably enough. Uh, three is definitely enough. And if you want to go more, you know, it's up to you. But after that dries, I go ahead and just hot glue my picture into the frame. I don't plan on ever taking this apart because I don't want a cracked frame for a real picture in my house. <laughs> uh, and there's probably better ways to make actual frames for things. Um, so I just go ahead and hot glue and to hide my hot glue marks, I just paint over it with more black. Now. I talked earlier about how there is a little crack in the picture, which you can't tell on camera very well, but in person I don't think it looks very good. Um, and it's because I had two pages and I just cut to cut them together. So to make it look more like it's done on purpose, I just grab more, repent the picture off, and actually just cut out more parts of the picture and just glue those on. So we're adding more cracks to the painting. I I like how that looks to, to age it at the same time, but also it makes it look like the original crack going down the middle was, um, wasn't just a, an accident or an error, that it actually is part of the thing. So, you know, if you mess up a, an actual thing, putting more messes up in uh, can actually make it look better. And uh, for the actual knife, uh, again, we're just putting the, the painting knife on, gluing it on that little piece that we made earlier. And just we're going to hot glue it on to the actual thing and kind of point it out and angle it out so it looks like the knife is actually coming out of the painting as well. Anything else that you want to do, like uh, one thing I didn't do, but to actually extend the little hoodie the character is carrying would have coming out of the frame probably would have helped too. But to add more detail to the knife, we're actually just flicking some blood on it where I just take red paint and actually just use my finger to flick the brush so that the paint splatters everywhere. Oh man, it's coming right out of that picture. Ah! Thanks for subscribing. Just, just do it. Thank you in advance. Don't forget to share with your friends. Also, leave a comment below. Tell me what you want me to make in the future. I was gonna add a lot more to that frame, but once I finished it and stained it, I'm like, it looks too nice. So I'll just leave it, because it looks so nice. Even though it has a thing coming out of it.